we are primarily taking a look at the Pentel Neo Sable uh, Sumi brushes, but I've also got some other calligraphy and Sumi brushes on the table. I have two from Daiso, and then two which, this is a Princeton and this is a Yatsutomo. So we've got um, everything except for the Neo Sable is natural hair, and it is either from horse or goat, and I think sometimes they do um, pig bristles as well. So we're gonna go ahead and unwrap one of the Daiso brushes. When you start using this brush for first time, loosen the brush hair with your fingers for the length of about one third from the hair tip. In the initial stage of use, some pieces of hair may come off, but it will finish soon. This brush is for Sumi ink or water paint. Please refrain from using it for any other use than intended. After using the brush, wipe ink off ink from tip of brush with a moist paper or cloth dipped in water. Store in a furimake scroll type writing brush slash pin holder without using a pin cap. And this is wool and horse, and the handle is bamboo. And for those of you who, are, like me, live in an area without a Daiso, Daiso is kind of like a Japanese Dollar Tree Wonderland in that you can get all sorts of things from Daiso. And the other Daiso calligraphy brush says pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is the Daiso. It's unmarked. This is the Yatsutomo. All three of these have a short string so you can hang them so they can dry inverted. Now we're going to take a look at the Neo Sable, and it's got a sizing guide on the back. And I ordered these, 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 these from Amazon, of course, you know, where I get all my art supplies. Close, but no cigar. Uh, and I feel like they were recommended to me, but I can't even tell you where. Oh, these are incredibly light, like dangerously light, like I'm not holding anything at all. And that is what the smallest Neo Sable looks like. And that is what the next smallest Neo Sable looks like. And then that's what the largest Neo Sable looks like. And you even have a place to write your name on these. So I have a feeling these are you, uh, intended for like younger students, maybe grade school students. So um, usually when I'm using... When I'm using watercolor brushes, I will clean out the sizing in a cup of water first. So I think I will actually do this, that. Now these have been used before. These have been used, I believe, for watercolor. And I should grab, I should grab some Sumi ink. So this is Kuratake Sumi Ink 60. And I'm gonna grab some paper and I'll be right back. Step one, I want to clean some of the sizing out of these and I went ahead and I grabbed some cheap, and I mean really cheap, like Canson Foundations. That's the stuff I've been using for demonstration purposes here on the channel for a little while. Canson Foundations watercolor paper. And I'm just trying to get some of the sizing out of these new brushes. And they aren't kidding when they say, a lot, some hairs may come out. Indeed, some hairs did. Okay, now we've got the Neo Sables, which have a lot of sizing in them. They are like ridiculously stiff. And I want you guys to keep in mind that I'm not looking at these as a calligrapher or a hand letterer or someone who does say Chinese painting or someone who does um, brush calligraphy. I'm just looking at these as a watercolor artist. But I am gonna use Sumi ink, at least to start with. We'll see, we'll see how they handle. And I'll grab something else if we so need it. All right, so cheap Canton paper. 
Kuratake Sumi Inc. Ooh. There we go. So we'll start with the largest Neo Sable. Good amount of flax. Can put down a fairly thick line. Can also get some nice dry brush with it. Clean that out in a few minutes. Now I kind of want to see it with watercolor because it's not half bad. Set that aside. And usually when I do these sort of tests, I actually will keep the um, resulting images and use them as digital art assets. Okay, that's the mediums. Yeah. Fairly fine line. You know, I bet these wouldn't be bad to ink like a sketch illustration with. I might have to try that later on. So not nearly as generous a line, but still a really nice thick line. So far these don't handle poorly at all. And then we're going to use the littlest. Nice, very thin line. You can get a fair amount of dry brush. So this might be of interest to those of us who ink our comics. And this might be something I revisit as an inking tool, primarily a little later on. Right now, let's switch on over to the Daiso. So we've got this ginormous puppy here. Makes me think of the anime Barakamon. This thing can hold a massive amount. And it's much floppier, more free form, you know, than the Neo Sable. So Neo Sable is good. Maybe it's not good as a Sumi brush. Got some interesting marks there. I'm going to have to put this aside. And we're going to use the mid size. And I'm going to end up having to grab more paper. Probably the mid sized Sumi brush from Daiso. And these are kind of just fun also to noodle about. And they're fairly in inexpensive. So next we're going to grab the Princeton. I'm not even going to dip it in water. We're just going to. I love having real media scanned for some of my digital art because it really sort of adds another layer to it. And then this is the Yatsutomo. So for someone like me who's fairly heavy handed, the natural hair bristles, while cool, would be hard for me to handle um, in terms of, say, inking. But we're about to try this out with watercolor. So what I need to do is I need to clean all this up and grab some more paper, and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got test numero uno. We have some Magello Compose Rose in a little dish here. We've got some clean water. And I've taken a moment to clean out my Neo Sables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of this water to the compost rose. Go ahead and get that nice and mixed up. It's a nice, brilliant color. And we're just going to So because it is a synthetic, it's not gonna hold on to the water very well. It's gonna drip a lot. You could mix a little thicker than this though. However, the brush itself has good snap and you can go from a very fine line to a very thick line, which is nice. Really very tempted to start inking, try inking with these and see. I don't normally ink with synthetics. I normally in fact tell people don't but these handle very well. The medium doesn't go down nearly as large as, of course, the large. There's a pretty significant size difference between the two as well. And then we've got this teeny tiny one. 
and it's fairly comfortable to hold. It gets a little wider here. So, yeah, I really want to try inking with these. They seem like fun, and they're very inexpensive. I think it was like from six to twelve for three of them, which isn't bad at all. So I'm gonna go grab my other Sumi brushes, and we'll see how those handle. I hung these upside down. They're of course not fully dry. I literally just rinsed them out, but they are dry enough for this. So let's start with that huge one. That one seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, look at that. You can really cover a lot of area. And this is the one from Daiso. So unfortunately, if you're like me and you live in an area where we have no Daisos, uh, you will not be able to have the huge, really cool Daiso Sumi brush at the price of like $2.50. So um, that's kind of unfortunate. But if you do live in the area where Daiso reigns, you could indeed get your own. And it seems pretty cool. I'm gonna have to play around with it some more, of course. But it seems like it would be a lot of fun for calligraphers who have like a loose and fast style. Now we've got the other Daiso brush. Still pretty big. It's slightly larger than the Neo Sable, the largest Neo Sable. And while you can't get quite as fine a lines, it's still a lot of fun. And then we have the Princeton. Princeton being a Western company. And I did a Sketchbox video. Um, I believe it was for last year's World Watercolor Month because um, I was painting Koi and I painted it. <clears throat> so sorry. I painted it using that Princeton brush they sent and I enjoyed painting with it. Now I don't normally use Sumi brushes with my other watercolor. Uh, brushes because it just puts down too much water and too much paint. It can be hard for me to control, but for initial washes, initial applications, as you guys can see, you can really get some bold brush strokes and have a lot of fun with it. So um, hopefully when things, oh, and I found one more. This one's looking kind of ratty. It's another Yatsumoto, and this would be a finer one. So this one is capable of some fairly fine lines. Anyway, in the near future, I hope I can do a video where we paint using just Sumi brushes and we play around with that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely recommend you check out Neo Sable. You can find a link to where you can get some in the description down below. And if you have a Daiso, I heartily recommend that you check out their calligraphy supplies and make them your own. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it's a pleasure and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.